Hey Aries, welcome to Alexander Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Aries and for those who have Aries anywhere in the astrological astrological chart. Okay. Cross watchers, you are welcome here. Keep in mind that the roles may be reversed. You may flip these messages as needed if necessary, but never force it. If this is your reading, the messages will be fluid. Never force the reading, guys. Okay. Just trying to mix these cards up. Time is fluid. Anytime that you tap the play button on the video is the time for you to receive these messages. If it resonates with you, be sure to tap that like button. It lets me know that it resonates with you and it lets me know you want to see more of these videos. Okay? Super important. For those of you tuning in, if you're wondering what's on my chest, I feel the need to tell you. It's a heart monitor. I fainted a few weeks ago, so therefore my cardiologist is trying to get to the bottom of what caused it and I'll have to wear this monitor, okay? I'm just telling you because I don't want you to be fixated on it. I want you to focus on the reading, the energies of the divine and the cards, okay? <laughs> All right, so I, I hope that you guys are well. This is gonna be a reading to see what messages are for you in love. We're actually gonna start by pulling Romance Angel Oracles see what messages that you need to see, right? That's it. This came out, so I'm going to keep it here very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I get someone, you know, the energy of somebody kind of being on a fence. Not really clear about something. We'll figure that out. Once we pull more cards, let's see what that is. Show me the messages that you have for Pisces and love. Show me the messages, please. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Show me the Aries, please. Chemistry. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Okay, I'm feeling some stuck energy. Somebody in this connection is stuck and it is connected with a child or children. Okay, some sort of obligation to be financial. Sorry about the noise. But, oh my goodness. It's a noisy morning today. Just ignore it. <laughs> okay. Show me the messages for Aries that wanted to come out. Three of Wands. Ace of Swords. I'm getting a lot of sword energy, air energy. You could be you could be connected with a Gemini, a Libra, or Aquarius, but it could be any sign. I'm also getting Pisces. All right. And um, fire energy, your energy, the Aries. Um, or could be another Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? You need to, there's a decision that needs to be made here between you and someone in this connection, okay? Someone's getting clarity. They're trying to move forward with a plan. Some of it involves traveling. Traveling for work, or just work paying off, something financial, but someone's trying to remove themselves from a situation they feel stuck in, okay? This is like they got clarity now, they're like, I need to release myself. They want to release themselves from a situation that they're stuck in. 
Okay, there's something that you are not aware of. And spirit is saying things are not what they seem. There's a need for you to listen to your intuition about something because you don't have, you know, you, you're not, you don't see it yet. It hasn't been revealed to you. Because I feel like the person that you're with, um, you're not communicating with the person you're connecting with now. Or if you are, they're very vague in their communication. It feels deceptive. It feels unstable. Things are not what they seem. That's what I'm getting. Show me more. The Aries. Wow, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like somebody in this connection, like it could be a person, there could have been some sort of victory, some sort of financial, you know, windfall, something financial that they came into. And I feel like it was connected to a situation with a child or children, okay? And, you know, now they're just trying to move forward and plan because they were stuck. I said it before that I felt like there was some sort of financial obligation keeping your person away from you. Mm -hmm. The Hierophant and the Six of, Pentac Six of Pentacles. This energy, the Hierophant, I'm getting um, Taurus energy. You could be connecting with the Taurus. Um, somebody here wants a solid commitment, a traditional relationship, even marriage, okay? And they want reciprocation though. And now this person feels like they can offer that uh, that person. I feel like your person feels now like they can offer you the traditional relationship you want. They can commit to you. They can they can reciprocate because they feel financially stable now. So maybe I feel like this person went through some financial instability in the past. There's a lot of chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. And there's a thing. You guys are being nudged to discuss your feelings with each other. But this person got the clarity and they're getting the, you know, they, they got the stability, but they, they're still trying to figure out how to move forward. That's why this, this three of wands is being crowned by this very soon. Yes. This person wants to move forward, but they haven't decided yet. With the six of wands reversed, this people, this person felt this connection with you. They felt defeated. They felt at a disadvantage. They felt like they couldn't just get things moving with this six of swords reversed. So they, they with this seven of cups, they, they tried to figure out what to do. They had a, like, they procrastinated. They were stuck. They couldn't move forward. They, they had a lot of obligations, a lot of decisions to make. Show me the breakdown in this connection. Wow. That popped out. This too. Wow. And this is supportive to exactly what I was just saying. So I have the two of pentacles reversed, the ten of wands, and the the ten of swords reversed. You could be seeing ten ten. This person, the, the breakdown of this connection was caused by this person just feeling overwhelmed. Okay? This your person has a lot of responsibilities, a lot of stress. They will be pulled in too many different directions. They were burned out. Like, they felt like they was taking on too much. It was like they had all these responsibilities, but then a lot of delays were coming in. Nothing was moving. Um, there was a lack of balance here. Like, they, they, they bit off more than they can chew. I feel like the energy of somebody even putting out a lot financially and not having nothing come in. Okay? And that's what caused the breakdown here. But this person is learning from their past. They're pulling themselves together with this Ten of Swords reverse. And, you know, this. some of this is involved with some sort of type of financial settlement or something I'm getting. But again, it hasn't been revealed to you. 
So this person pulled back their energy because they didn't have anything to give. They felt like they didn't have anything to give. King of Wands. Now this person is like, you know, trying to take a leadership position here. They're, you know, they're, they're more, they're more, they were, they were dependent on a lot of things because they wasn't, they weren't stable, but now they feel independence. They're taking leadership. They're feeling more opti they're feeling optimistic now. And this person may try to contact you impulsively, I'm getting. And this is unexpected. Some money came in from somewhere with, for this person unexpectedly. I'm getting with this King of Wands. Okay. Show me this person's feelings. Oh, I already asked for that. No, show me um Aries. Show me this person's feeling for Aries, please. What is this person's feeling for Aries? Wow. Keep in mind the cards are not gender based. I have to say that all the time. Everybody has you know masculine and energy, and it's masculine and feminine energy. It's like just take the messages. Don't pay attention to if it's king or queen. Doesn't make a difference. Feelings is the King of Pentacles, the Page of Cups, and the Five of Swords reversed. This person, they they want to come to you with maturity and security now. They're better in themselves. They yes, they're focused on money because they want to come to you. They want to offer you security, financially and emotionally. But for this person, it's super important that they are financially secure. Okay, again, because this person has child or children. And um, I feel like this person has a child or children outside of this relationship with you. But they want to come forward. This person has the, the Page of Cups. You're going to hear from this person. Be prepared to hear something from this person. This person is interested in learning about their emotional issues. So they're coming to you with vulnerability. It's not going to be anything huge when they, when they reach out. Because they're not like coming in with love bombing. But they're listening to the intuition about you now. They finally got the clarity and they want to come to you and they want to, you may get a gift or something from this person, something of love, something comforting, something thoughtful. And this person wants to cooperate with you. All right. This person may be younger than you or emotionally immature. That's why I'm saying it's someone who's interested in learning about their emotional issues. And with this five of swords reversed, this, piece, this person wants to move forward. They want a peaceful resolve with you. They want to communicate. They want to compromise. They want to end this conflict between the two of you. I love this for you, Aries. I love this for you. Spirit, please show me Aries, Aries feelings for this person. What is Aries' current feelings for this person? This is beautiful. You deserve this. And you don't even see this. You don't even see this because this person is not communicating with you. So you don't see it. And again, if you do communicate with this person, they come off very vague. Show me Aries feelings for this person, please. Show me more. Wow. There's a lot of fire here. That's your energy, Aries. You could be connecting with another Aries, a Leo or Sagittarius. This is Aries energy right here. The Emperor. You want a reunion with this person, okay? There's been a lot of arguments with you two, a lot of drama, a lot, like just struggling to make this connection work. There's so much conflict that you guys have in this connection. I get it's super passionate though. Like the love is passionate, the sex, you know, it's the sex is passionate, the intimacy is very, very passionate. And, but the, the fights are very passionate too. They're very intense. And this is what I'm getting with the energy of this five of wands. I feel like your person, you know, they have a very big ego issue. This person may even have a temper. They're very defensive if you try to, you know, approach them or you're very defensive because this is also Aries energy. Take it as it resonates. Like, again, I said the messages could be flipped around. But, you know, 
You want to come together and make this work. You actually do. In spite of the issues here, you're like, if this person can, you know, make me feel as if I'm safe with them, with this emperor, if I can feel emotionally safe with this person and stable, and, you know, this person can be mature, you need this person to be very mature, this emperor energy, okay? You want to feel like this is somebody I can count on. This is stable. This person is fearless. You know, this person is not going to, you know, be a coward and just continue to keep ghosting me because I'm getting ghosted energy as well. That's because of unresolved trauma, okay? Um, but you're saying that in spite of that, this person can, you know, offer us stability and I can feel emotionally safe and protected with this person. Then I want this reunion. So you still want this. And that's probably why you're here. Show me Aries challenges, please. Let me go ask this first. You guys are so drawn to each other. There's so much passion. That's why I said chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other. You're being nudged to. Show me Aries. Show me one more for Aries challenges, please. In regards to this connection. I have the seven of wands and the four of swords reverse. Your challenge is just, is just to be, you know, stand up for what you believe in. Get out of this. I get this energy of you being an isolated energy yourself. And your challenge is to get out of this, you know, this energy and just be strong and just be brave and courageous and stand up for what you believe in and what you want. Okay? Stand on it. Stand on it with confidence. If this person, when this person comes back around, don't back down. You know what you want. You know what you need. And there's a, there's a need for you to stand in that energy. Okay? But that's your challenge. Your challenge is to do that. Because I feel like this person brings out your insecurities. But spirit is like, no. You know, tap into your, your you know, your mental strength. Be strong. Be, you know, concisive. Get out of this, this isolated energy and just stand up for yourself. Okay? Spirit, please show me advice for Aries. Show me advice. Wow, 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 wow. I got the Knight of Wands reversed, the Ace of Wands, and the Chariot reversed. Why is this chariot here, please? Show me why. Whoa. I see your concerns. I see your concerns, Aries. Okay? You see this person as a person who just never delivers. They keep coming in and out. Um, and they don't deliver. They promise a lot, though. And you feel, you feel like your person is very arrogant, very reckless. And that the energies are scattered. They don't know if they want to stay or, they, or, or if they want to go. And you feel like because they can't be successful, like they're not able to be victorious because they, they allow obstacles to keep blocking them. They need to get out of their own way. And then the, the thing is, they keep abandoning the connection. So you're like, is this person like, you see them as this, this arrogant person that's not stable and keeps leaving. But the advice that I have for you is to see things differently because there's an ace of wands here. Thoughts become things. There's a new beginning here with this person. That's why this moon is here because things are not what they seem. You see this person still as they were and not as they are now. But you have to decide too what you want. And I'm getting that because this person is going to come in. They're, they're moving forward. So I'm feeling the energy that this very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now is for you. That is not your person. Your person got the clarity. Your person is coming forward. 
okay? And a heart-to-heart -heart conversation needs to happen, but you have to be receptive to it. So I'm also getting this with this, like, are you planning to salute, let go and move on? Because you're like, this is not worth it because this person is just gonna prom make a lot of bunch of promises and then leave again. No, there's an ace of wands here, there's a new beginning. So the advice for you is to be receptive to it. Don't focus on the past, focus on this ace of wands. This is a clean slate, this is a new beginning. There's good news coming. There's good news coming and you don't even see it because you don't know what's going on. You wouldn't, this person is not telling you. Justice. Yeah. I feel like for a lot of you, this person had a court case. Okay. And it was, there was a settlement involved and it was in their favor. There's an apology coming in. This person is coming in with an apology. All right. They're coming in with um, regards, you know, regards to the, you know, the consequences of their actions. What accountability and an apology. I love this for you. So just spirit is like be receptive to this. This person is coming in with an apology, with changed behavior, a new beginning. It's not what you think it is. It's not what you think it is. So you have to release this bad stuff. Thoughts become things, right? So before I close out this reading, I'm going to pull some lovers or cool messages. I, I just took a deep breath because I feel like you need to take a deep breath too. Like this is a sigh of relief that this cycle of stunted growth is finally over because this person feels more stable and in control. Okay. Look deep within your heart and you will feel my love. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Yep, this person, even though they're quiet, they want you to know that you their love has never left you. It's they, What they feel for you is so deep. Freedom, there is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. There's nothing stopping you, Aries. This path is clear. This person is coming in. You just have to decide to be receptive when this person comes in. And do not judge them by their past because they're not coming in with that energy. Balance. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. While this person is so in love with you, Aries, they, in their mind, they've never been separated from you emotionally. Never. Never, even through all those conflicts, even through all those times they made you feel like you wasn't enough, those times where they had you feeling like they were closed off, they kept running off, they couldn't run from the love that they had for you. They could not, you're the type of person, they just couldn't shake it. They couldn't shake you off. You were always on their mind. You was always in their heart. So those are the messages that I have for you. I love it that you have a new beginning here and I pray that you're receptive to it. Those are the messages for you, Aries. If this reading resonated, be sure to tap that like button. I wish you healing love. I wish you light. And I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.